Hello! Welcome to day five of Vloggy Flossy Vloggimus. Hello! I actually had looked down at the numbers on the advent calendars because I forgot what day it was. <laughs> oh well. Oops. <laughs> I'm getting there. I mean, I never leave the house, so I mean, at least this is letting me know what day it is. Maybe not day of the week, but day. Yay! Another awesome thing about advent calendars during the time of pandemics and quarantine. Awesome. All right. First, let's discuss the tea thing. This was yesterday's tea, and this is what I have in my mug today. And it sounded really good yesterday. And it smells absolutely delightful. I mean, wow, okay. If this tastes like it smells, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get Snowball from Bird and Blend all the way to me I, immediately. It's not gonna happen. I don't need to buy any more tea. But that might get, end up being on my list next year. Let's see. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Oh, yes, 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 yes. I might have possibly just found a new favorite tea. It's very possible. This is really good. All right, I'm, I'm not just gonna sit here and drink my tea, I promise. I mean, I might, but no, I won't. <laughs> okay, that's a really good tea. Waving at the guy. He's doing some work. Work your work, busy bee. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, that that was worth the entire advent calendar tea. Advent calendar in my world. <laughs> that is really that good. Okay. Let's see if we can find other ones that are as good. Here is my advent calendar. I decided to fully open all the little doors that are already done, and I haven't been showing it, but I do have little little drawings on the inside. So let's find out what we have for day five. Hazelnut Rocher. Luxurious hazelnut and chocolate black tea with a sparkle of gold. A sparkle of gold. Yes, because there are some sprinkles in it. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that'll be for tomorrow. Kind of looking forward to that. I am a black tea lover, so that's good. All right, I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm having more of the snowball. Oh yeah, I really like this one. Okay, enough. Let's get to the yarn. The yarny, yarny, yarn advents. First. Geektastic Fibers, Women in Literature. I think we've run through all the March Sisters, so unless we're doing the March Mom as well, uh, we might get a different book today. Let's find out. Uh, yes, yes, we have definitely done something that is not Little Women. <laughs> Ophelia from Hamlet. A bit different than uh, Little Women there. Let's see what we get color-wise. Ooh, oh, that's fun for Ophelia. Oh, sorry. All the flowers. Ooh. Don't mind the uh, ink on my finger there. Let's hide that. Flowers for Ophelia. There's rue for you. That's for remembrance. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty color. I like this one. For Ophelia. And now, Canon Hand Eyes. Isn't it romantic? Slowly moving up that gradient. See where we end up today. Mm. Nice sparkly fun goodness here. This is going to be really fun to knit up. I'm really enjoying this gradient. And I'm very glad I've been putting them back in the bags afterwards so that I can actually see the gradient a lot easier. I don't have to try and put it back together myself. Now, Hugh Loco, One Pot Wonder. 
I need to rip into this one. There we go. Ooh. Cafe Tropical. Look, that is pretty greens. Look at the variegation here. Look at that. Mmm. I love her colors. I just blanked on the name and I shouldn't because it's Earl Grey Fiber Company. I mean, how could I forget Earl Grey? It's impossible. And this is the Alice in Wonderland. Ripping it open like a savage. I shouldn't use that word. Apologies. Ripping it open like crazy. Mm, probably shouldn't use that either. Just ripping it open. The Dodo. Ooh, let me see if I can get some of these sprinkles in the shot. There we go. That is a lovely gray. Really enjoying these colors. Mmm. Yum. Yes. Yum. Don't see why colors can't be yummy. I think they are. So, that is all the advents. Hooray. Fun. Mm. Oh. I really kind of wish there was more of this tea. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, <clears throat> enough, enough, enough. Let's uh, do a little cross stitch. My uh, Christmas tea, I'll be working it on, on it for two more days is my plan. But I, I'm, I'm kind of stuck in the teacup now. And the teacup is big. Teacup is, is really, really big I mean it and it just keeps going down and down and down and okay it doesn't go down that far but I am having issues stitching this color on the 40 count fog it is an unnamed hand dyed fibers color it is creams different creams which I thought would be great for a china cup for tea and I think it'll look absolutely gorgeous when it's done but it's getting it done oh this teacup it's gonna kill me I swear but I am still loving the the colors and I'm loving the pattern but oh, that's a big teacup anyway two more days on this obviously there will not be a finish I, I am half hoping I will finish the teacup, but that too would be a Christmas miracle to get through the teacup. We will see. We will see. Who knows? Cross your fingers for me, people. I need all the help I can get getting through this teacup. Anyhow, on Monday I will have a different Christmassy stitchy thing to work on for the week. Unless I finish it early. And if I finish it early, <laughs> finish. This is a word I don't use ever in any of my stitching or knitting, but yeah, we, can, we can hope, like I said earlier, we, we, we can hope. It could happen. It's not gonna, but if it does, and if, if, if it does, and I actually finish something, I'll, I'll come back to the, the never-ending teacup. Ooh. Now, if only those are real. Imagine that. Never-ending teacups. Your favorite tea in the teacup, and you just keep drinking it and drinking it, and, dr and it never ends and you just have nice warm tea forever, oh. Now that would be a Christmas miracle. Enough on that. I did a little bit more progress on my sock. There we go, I was in this cream color yesterday and I have done a bit more. I'm not sure how much more I need to do on the leg. This still seems a little short for a leg for me, but got a little bit more to do on it and I'm really for some reason this sock I don't know if it's the colors or the pattern and it's just a simple like let me see if I can show you it's just a simple occasionally though there's a pearl bump pattern it's really really basic it's the um it's a pattern on Ravelry it's a free pattern on Ravelry it is Mm, blanking on the name. Anyway, I'm really enjoying the pattern. It's super simple. 
and I don't know if it's the pattern with these colors or what, but it's it's a really nice knit. It's just soothing and enjoyable, and I'm liking it. It's it's flying off the needles because I didn't really work on it all, all last night, and I got what one, two, three, four colors done, color stripes. Feeling pretty good. So I plan on working more of that today. Plan on working uh, more on Christmas tea. Oh, that cup. And yeah, those are my plans for today because I'm really exciting. Oh, I should, I should, I should brag about what I'm wearing though. Look at this. Look at this. Yes, yes, this is the Turtle Dove. This Poster Co. Free pattern on Ravelry. It's glorious and I love it. And yes, yes, I did knit this out of wool folk loft. Talk about luxury. The only way I could afford it is because of my old job in a yarn shop where I got a staff discount <laughs> and could buy them one at a time. <laughs> Otherwise this, this this would not have happened. This this is very much a luxury luxury knit. But oh did I enjoy knitting and it flew off the needles and I absolutely love Wolf Oak Loft. So if you have the ability and the finances <laughs> It's, it's, it's worth the splurge. Um, I love, I love this sweater so much. It's just wonderfully oversized, raglan, little turtleneck, it's great. So soft, so cozy, so warm, I'm in love. So, that's that. And other than that, um, oh, I was gonna show off something that the guy got uh, in the mail today, because it cracked me up but I'll show it tomorrow. <laughs> he got it from work. They, they sent a Christmas gift to him, um, probably to most of the people. Uh, not just him, he wasn't that special. It was probably a Christmas gift to the employees and uh, it was amusing. I'll show that tomorrow, I hope I'll remember. I'll, I'll try and make a note to remember and I'll do that tomorrow. But on that note, I think I should go, let you go let you get back to your knitting or your stitching or your whatever you feel like doing today. <laughs> Maybe it'll be decorating. Maybe it'll be doing fuck all and just sitting down and having a cup of something that you enjoy to drink and enjoying life. <laughs> whatever you choose to do. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you. Oh yeah, good tea. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.